so hello, my name is Terremoto and today I'm joined by Baz from Rec Filming. And, hello. And Myla Stemedic from Level DF, an awesome cast that I might add. Please, please. And I today, already know. And today we're actually viewing at the footage that was provided to us by Whitey, also from Level BF. I'm still very thankful, thankful for him. So basically what we're gonna do today is just like talk about uh, what we think of Hardline and I'm gonna leave this footage in the back to run in the background for you to enjoy. So what I want to ask you guys and I know that we had this conversation a shit enough times basically, you know. What are the good things about Hardline, you know? I know I asked it asked, asked it a shit enough times, but still what are the good things about Hardline that you know and you can see uh taking health from medics and don't get out, give out health just by clicking e and same thing for the supports i mean it's really all about those really small things in the game the small details which are very nice i know as well now that um if somebody in your let's say let's say you're in transport helicopter and your your pilot bailed It'll actually tell you that the pilot bailed from the helo. Yeah, I actually read it on the notes. They actually added a sound when if somebody bails, I still don't know what they're gonna say. Hey guys, have have fun, good luck, you know, or something like that. <laughs> later oh, <my>. nerds. <laughs> yeah, later nerds. That should be added definitely. But still, what Vas? Any things you can add? Because I don't have anything to add, no. Uh, you, like you, play, you play the beta, come on. You're the best player I know with a negative KD. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're technically qualified to state your opinion on these things, you know? Because when you think of comparing Battlefield 4 and Battlefield Harley, you know? Do you feel more comfortable and enjoying more playing Battlefield Harley than Battlefield yes. 4? Yes, I do, yes. Um, I can get kills much easier in Hardline. I know, it's that I can in Battlefield 4. That's the only reason I liked it. And also because you can steal ammo. Nobody's mentioned it yet, but you can steal ammo and health from other people. Yeah, I think actually my last thing. Yeah, no, no, said, that's like the first thing that I said. But anywho, beyond that point, let me tell you something. It's one thing I've been saying. People have been saying it quite a bit. It's like, oh, but the head rag is so much better. Look, it's exactly the same. And this is coming not from me. Not from somebody around, I'm barely anything on the spec dot that is Battlefield. But, directly coming from the devs themselves, there is basically no difference in hit registration between this game and BF4. There's just a bit of a difference. And the only reason why your shots are, you know, they seem like they're hitting and you're killing people is because the damage on the weapons is much higher than in BF4. So... Yeah. Because they're actually still running on the same engine, I cannot say did they modify the 4x3 engine that much, no? This but is pretty much the, the construction of Battlefield Hardline has been in sync with BF4. As soon as BF4, uh, the work started on BF4, uh, it was pretty much started on Hardline. So this is BF3 being changed into Hardline. Just like BF3 was molded into BF4 after that. So, technically, they both come from the same start, but each engine has been modified in a certain way to work with uh, what the game is now. So, some certain uh, C CTE things wouldn't work with BF Hardline just because it's not the same coding. It doesn't work the same way. Yeah, and basically, from my experience like, playing the latest beta, I can say that you cannot really compare the two games on the same level. Battlefield 4 is of course like that big scale combat and Battlefield Hardline is how I see it. It's basically just quick fun. You know, you jump in on a match, the most game modes are basically organized to be played not for an hour but around 10 to 20 minutes. So if you want like to have if you want to have some quick fun, I just I very much enjoy like jumping into highest or what we're seeing now, I think it's hostage rescue and just like playing a few quick games. And also that quick uh, weapon, oh, that quick damage, what most people are saying that you can kill a person faster. It also feels, I don't know, at least for me, more satisfying. Well, yeah, you can get the dank multi-kills. 
Yeah, and mo those multiples are way easier to get in Harlan. I can state that, you know. You don't have a fancy tank to shoot down a helicopter and get a quad kill, you know. No, you need to work for it here. What pe most people don't like, so you need to work for it. But still, all good things do don't qualify the game. And what are the bad things about Hardline? I'll let Bass start off with this. Yes, Bass. Ah, uh, okay, bad things. Um, <laughs> well, you can take uh, ammo and health from people just by pushing the E key, I found, which I think is a good thing. So, um, I've got nothing, sorry. Nothing um, more? Yeah, well, ba Bass isn't... We can qualify Bass as a constant player, you know, I think only me and my... Well, I, I have a good thing, I, I like it because it's like close quarters in Battlefield 3, which I like. The map's just quite small, and like you say, you can just jump in and, and have a quick game. I don't, I mean, as for negatives, I mean, I, I hate any game where I get killed a lot. So that, <laughs> yeah. that's, that's probably so pretty my, much any game? Yeah, so pretty much everything. Which is, yeah. <laughs> single player don't, is my thing. Really. Don't blame the player, blame the game, yes? Yes, yes. It's that netcode gets me every time. Yeah. At least for me, I, I cannot like exactly state something bad about Hardline. At the first beta, I was like the majority of other people stating that it kind of felt like a skin of Battlefield 4, you know? Just like... Well, it still does to me. Oh, yeah, but at least like since the last beta, not the previous beta, but the last beta, I know, did they made some... They made some big improvements, but at least for me, it f didn't feel that... Like like a reskin. It felt a bit more, not completely, but a bit more as a separate game. As like a close quarter style battlefield, not a massive battlefield as Battlefield 4 is. I think it shares too much of the UI for me to be totally different from Battlefield 4. I think if, they, if they'd made a little bit more effort on giving it a different UI. But, yeah, I, the, but the way it is now with the, the way the kills show, the the deploy screens, the guns, the kill cam, it's too much Battlefield 4 to, to be classed as anything as a totally separate game, to me anyway. Yeah, I, I still don't like the blue theme, like, someone suggested that they should have picked like a, a steel or a grey color, you know, don't go with blue, the blue just screams Battlefield 4, and it's, I don't know, too eye catch at least for me. Milos? Uh, do you want me to talk about the negatives? Well, okay, so from me, you and Bass, you are, I think, the only person here that is more negative about Hardline. Oh, I'm, I'm not negative in terms of just being negative. Um, I'm gonna look at it as a person that uh, really likes a game for very different reasons compared to other people. I'm a Battlefield fan through and through. I love the entire series. I can talk about the negatives in any Battlefield game all day, every day, to be honest. I've, I've, I hate to admit it, but I've done it way too many times um, for my time's sake. But Hardline, I will look at it from a consumer's um, side, a person that has been with the series for quite a while, and from a critic side, a person as well who's very much into competitive esports and is most of the time really preoccupied casting. Speaking of that, I have a cast in 45 minutes, so I will look at this in a very different way compared to the more what I would call casual or you know just for fun type players. So you know, yes, people. You you're like the liaison of the competitive scene here because neither of us are neither a caster or a pro player. Oh, I'm For not sure. a pro player. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you're still you're a caster. You know, you have a lot of experience with casting games and the whole battlefield competitive scene, which is a kind of hot hot topic here. Most people just hold on to an opinion that battlefield four competitive scene is is a dead thing that it, it will never happen. They don't say that it isn't there, it is there at some level, but it, it it will not be able to go anywhere, that's the problem most people say. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's it's for sure. Uh, I believe with BF3 they almost hit a hit sweet spot without Spectool. I mean, today, a cast for BF3 and going back using the old spec cam that we had, which is pretty much a hack, it's like... 
I'm I'm so happy that they actually had Spectator Tool in BF4. The the biggest issue that I have with a game like BF4 is that uh, there was little to no dev support when it came to it. Um, and Battlefield Hardline, is not, Hardline didn't change that much. They still no. basically kept the same Spectator tools. As they said, they didn't change that much. Oh, I think they didn't change anything in Spectator tools. So nothing, no, none improvements have made Payback. have been made in that sphere. There are no improvements when it comes to the actual hit registration. The only thing that is different is the fact that weapons will kill faster. So that's why it feels like you're melting people. Like you used to do even better than in BF3, just because of the fact that the bullet damage is up. People should not be deceived by that thing. And you know, I know some people are gonna call me out. Oh, stop bashing the game or whatever. No, it's. Man, why well, I stop bashing the game? It's it's not yeah, bashing. It's being 100% realistic for what it is. Like, let's not say let's not say that oh it's it's better because no, there's a specific reason, and it's not it's it doesn't feel better just because you know it or whatever. It, there's barely any any changes for the hit registration itself. But when it comes to a game being an esports title, and this is a gripe that I really really have with Hardline. Um, You've seen the devs on Twitter talking about, you know, we have these competitive modes yes. and all of that. And, well, and some people... The main, yeah, and that's the main thing, like, the, the, from the developer side, all their support that is directed towards the competitive scene well, is mainly just introducing or adding game modes. You, we, you, will th you would think that. Look, BF4 had the fuse. Uh, BF3 had 5v5, or not 5v5, yeah, it was 5v5, uh, Squad Rush, which was fantastic. Uh, the maps were built very, very well, and now with uh, BF4, Squad Obliteration, built by people, by casters and pro player play, players, like myself, head ESL admins, were playing Brut FX, a lot of people from competitive teams, we had people in direct contact with DICE, and... A mode now is fantastic. It's amazing. the The problem now is when you want a uh, an esports title, it's not the same as having a game with spectator mode slapped on, which is basically what we've been working with here for BF4, and probably what we're going to be doing with Hardline again. BF3 well, didn't even have the spec. I think because we're a bit almost running out of time, we. You can look at Battlefield Hardline from two perspectives. Is it a good game for a casual, normal, yes. people, everyday gamer? And a, a guy that just want to hop in, play around for an hour and go, it'll yeah. work. Yeah, but for somebody that wants to be serious about it and, and maybe have an idea of joining something competitive, I don't think it's there yet. I mean, I would love to be proven wrong at a release because it's not yet out for me to test that I can't even buy. I don't even have the money to buy it, to be honest. But well, my opinion is kind of the same. As for my experience of playing Battlefield Hardline, I can tell that it's, like I stated before, it's a nice game for like quick fun. You jump in, you, you play a few short game modes, you have fun, you know? It's, it's very well paced, it's fun, it's exciting, you know? Especially driving the cars, or at least getting the kills easier, but... From the competitive scene, I think we, you can only judge it by time. You cannot say, will the game have a strong competitive scene before the game actually launches. Well, you have to start off somewhere. The issue yes. now is the devs are really split between, when you see their, their feedback, they don't, they don't really tell you, is the game going to be a competitive title or is it going to be something for you know, a casual player. If I knew what it was going to be and what direction they really want to head in, I would say, this is a fantastic game for casual play, very, very nice, I'm all for it. But if they say that they want to push esports for it, this is where I'm really interested. No, I'm, I'm not a fan. I know well, you guys I are think, really... Yes, I think, we can only, I think we can only say that time will tell. And our time just ran out, and thank you guys for joining. I was, my name was Terry Mortal, and I was joined by Bass and Milo the Medic from Level BF. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>